Hi, it's Cory, and today you're gonna learn how to play Zombie by the Cranberries. This video today is thanks to my Patreon community. Zombie was the voted song of the month for October. Uh, if you are interested in joining my Patreon community where you get access to a variety of benefits, my lead sheets, you get to vote on various videos that I put out like this one, make sure to check that out in the description box. It's a really cool group of people that we have going on and um, I'm able to give them a lot more feedback and help and everything with their ukulele playing or to uh, it's just a great way to support the channel as well. If you're not able to join my Patreon community, still just watching the videos, giving them a likes, commenting, those are still really great ways to support the channel as well and I really appreciate that too. So thank you so much. This song is really, really well known. It's one of my personal favorites and what's great is it's only four chords. Now you can definitely make it more complicated but I didn't really have to change anything about this song for the most part to be able to make it a pretty like faithful rendition as much as you can for the ukulele because it is a pretty like rock song. We're gonna be using three different strumming patterns but they're very very accessible and easy and the song itself is pretty short and so if you chunk it into different parts it's really really manageable to be able to play. First of all though let's make sure your ukulele is in tune. So that's gonna be a G on the fourth string, a C on the third string, an E on the second string, and an A on the first string. If you don't have a tuner or you don't know how to tune your ukulele, make sure to check out the videos in the cards above. They are, one is for an actual tuner that I have on my channel, and then the other one is to how to actually turn the tuning pegs on the ukulele in case you don't know already how to do that. So there are four chords for this song. The first chord we're gonna be using is the C major chord. For that, you take your third finger, place it on the first string, third fret. The next chord is going to be the E minor chord, and this chord is actually the one we're using the most in the song, so really, really get this one mastered. The way you're gonna play that is for your first finger on the first string, second fret, your second finger on the third fret, second string, and then your third finger on the fourth fret, third string. We're also gonna be using a D major chord, and for this chord, we're only gonna be using the second fret, so you're gonna take your first finger, place it on the fourth string, then your second finger is gonna go on the third string, and your third finger is gonna go on the second string. And your finger, it, your thumb here is supporting behind on the neck. And then finally, we're gonna be using the G major chord. For that, you're gonna take your first finger, place it on the second fret, third string, your second finger is gonna go on the second fret, first string, and your third finger is gonna go on the third fret, second string. So before you move on to strumming patterns, make sure that those four chords are really, really mastered. And what I mean by mastered is you have them memorized enough that you don't have to look at the chord charts. Again, the chord chart is for a reference, but you shouldn't, in the midst of transition, be using them if you can. Obviously, still try the stirring pattern, but if you find that there are big gaps in between when you're able to play or you have to take big pauses before you can continue, that's kind of telling that you need to really work more on those chord changes, um, which means you just need to work on learning the chord more, and that's okay too. The first strumming pattern we're gonna be using is just for the opening line, and that is going to be just playing on the chord change. So that opening line will sound like this. Another head hangs lowly, child is slowly taken. After that opening line, we're gonna move to playing on the beat. That means you're playing one down strum on every beat that occurs. That will sound like this for the next line. And the violins cause such silence. Who are we mistaken? When playing on the beat, you're gonna be strumming four times per chord. And with that on the beat, we're gonna take that all the way through the rest of the verse, through the pre-chorus, and then when we get to the chorus is when we're gonna be switching up the strumming pattern once again. When we get to the chorus and only on the choruses, we're gonna be playing a full strumming pattern of a down, up, down, down, up, down, down, down. So that will look like this going slow and I'm just gonna play it on a C chord to demonstrate. It's down, up, down, down, up, down, down, down. So again, What 
it'll sound like in the context of the song will be like this. And I'm gonna play it slowly just so you can hear it and kind of be able to listen to the string pattern. In your head, in your head, someday, someday, someday. In your head, in your head, someday, someday, someday. So you could hear that. After the chorus, you go back to playing on the beat through the rest of that section of verse two into the pre-chorus, and then you go back to the strumming pattern for the chorus. The only time that this will change is at the very end of the song when you get past the second chorus, you're going to just end it on a D. So overall, it's a pretty simple song. It doesn't have a lot of different moving parts, but it's really, really awesome. And this is a really nice beginner friendly way how to play it. So if any of this seemed confusing, watch the playthrough first. It'll probably clarify some of the questions you have and then get started to play it yourself. Like all of my tutorials, the lead sheet, if you're interested in that, it is available on my Patreon. So that's where you can find that if you would like. Let's give a playthrough. One, two, here we go and Another head hangs slowly, child is slowly taken. And the violence caused such silence, who are we mistaken? But you see, it's not me, it's not my family. In your head, in your head, they are fighting with their tanks and their bombs and their bombs and their guns in your head in your head they are crying in your head in your head someday 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 it's in your head in your head someday someday zombie by the cranberries I also just want to give a huge shout out again to my patreons they make these song of the month songs possible and so I really really want to say thank you thank you thank you so much if there are other songs that you would really love to learn on the ukulele make sure to comment down below I read all your comments and if you found this helpful and you liked it make sure to give it a thumbs up that also really just helps with the YouTube algorithm and everything so and it lets me know that you liked what I did and that's just nice too sometimes so thank you so much and I hope you have a wonderful day bye bye